The Tōtō Nui 250 Trust was established in 2016 and it's one of four key landing sites that James Cook came to during first encounters with Māori 250 years ago. The Trust's aims are to deliver events around the national kaupapa of Tūia 250. Tūia 250 is about bringing people together and sharing our experiences and the kaupapa around that is dual history and shared future. There's a common sort of theme that this is about a, a cook celebration, it isn't. It's very much a, a kaupapa of two cultures coming together and the story that's happened from then and is going to happen into the future. So back here 250 years ago is what's been said. Our people got to go out and meet Tupaya. He's also on a great big huge ship called the Endeavour. Captain James Cook, well Lieutenant James Cook at that time, he was the captain of the ship. He was bringing a, a, a world of information to our place. Shared Future is about looking at ourselves as a nation and where do we go to from here. Um, our trust has been established now for about four years. We've been working really hard with the National Coordination Committee and all the other landing sites in this country. Which landing sites there was only three others. Tūranga Nui Akiwa in Gisborne, Coromandel, Bay of Islands and here. When Cook arrived, there was an existing culture and people here. He was clearly very impressed with, with his contact with Māori and he, he wrote uh, in glowing terms about the character and the nature of the people he met. And I think it's important to understand that uh, Cook wasn't here looking down on people. He was very much impressed with what he saw. But he managed to get his little craft around here uh, with great discipline and he, and he he came in here and he found this absolutely fantastic little bay which he called Ship Cove which, and your people had for many years called Meritoto. So Rangitane, Ngāti Apa, Ngāti Kuia, Te Ati Awa are the four iwi that are working together to put a cultural lens on this event. As part of the National Tuia 250, there will be a flotilla of vessels that will be travelling around the four key landing sites, of which we are one. We will be welcoming that flotilla, which will consist of three wakahuria, which are double-hulled ocean-going waka, and two historic ships, the Replica Endeavour and the Spirit of New Zealand. So come the 21st of November, when the waka come out to come come through here and the endeavor come through here again we want it to be a celebration we want our people to be here it's about creating an understanding and educating the next generation around what it is to be a nation today when cook arrived he saw people of Kutahopal descent. There's a number of sources we can sort of go to to get a picture of who those people were. We can use the observations of Cook and his crew. So Cook recorded in his, uh, in his journals who he met. We've got the names of people who were living out there and we've got the whakapapa. What we can do with that information is you can extrapolate out a little bit more and say, well, if these people were living there, most likely they were living with their whānau. It was a place where waves of people came over, stopped there for a little while, then moved on. The living descendants of those people today typically call themselves Ngāti Kuia, Rangitāni or Ngāti Apa. So Meritoto or Ship's Cove, the name Meritoto means the, the blooded, the blooded Meri, which uh, that probably indicates that something's gone on there. Ship's Cove, renamed Ship's Cove or given the name Ship's Cove later by Cook and of course in the history of New Zealand, pretty significant. I think of, I think in total Cook spent 130 days in Ship's Cove, so it was a, um, he had obviously recognised 
the qualities of the bay in the same way that Māori had recognised the qualities of the bay. The voyage was funded by the British government as a voyage of, dis of uh, scientific discovery. He brought with him uh, some scientists and some artists. The interesting thing is that when they came here, Banks and Solander collected uh, about 400 plant specimens from all over New Zealand, but a lot from here in uh, Meritoto and in other parts of Totoranui, including, I know, in uh, Punarua Fiti, which is my, that's where I live, that's, so that's a fascination for me. When they returned to England with the plants they had collected from New Zealand and Australia, uh, the number of plants known in the world increased by a quarter. Cook's arrival for Māori, I believe, meant that the Māori world expanded. Māori saw things that they'd never seen before. The swiftness with which Māori were able to use the new things that Cook introduced really goes to show you how adaptable Māori were. Uh, we were the discoverers, the Maui's, the Kupes, the, the, the Huatakis, the Matua Hotere, Matua Kuha, Kuo, Te Kauai, all of these people, they were the chiefs, they were the navigators, they were the voyagers and discoverers of our land. They got to see firsthand what our land looked like. Tuia 250 offers our community and the nation an opportunity to leave a legacy reflecting on our past and, and looking towards the future.